All right, welcome to another e economic update on plywood and lumber and OSB. I was curious what Hurricane Henry was going to do as far as the pricing of plywood. Up here, we're way up no almost to the Can Canadian border, so we didn't get much rain uh, or wind uh, from the effects of that. So it didn't affect us here. It did more down along the coast of in Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, so on like that. Plywood went down a dollar forty cents to thirty two fifty seven for five eight CDX, and that's zip code zero three five six one. Big box store if you want to look it up. <clears throat> um, two by four eights went down ten cents. Not much, but it's at least it's still going down. <clears throat> I think it's three fifteen for a two by four eight. The uh, two by four sixteens are still way up there. I actually had, we ran short on this job for two by four sixteens. They were $22 a piece. A piece, not for a herd of them. <laughs> anyway, OSB, seven sixteens OSB dropped from $22 and change to $15 and change. That's a, that's a big deal. It's almost time to where I would consider buying. I mean, we're really getting close if they could just help us out. A little bit more would be nice. I think it's coming in the next few weeks. Uh, and then, then maybe I'll look at buying some stuff so that I can keep building, of course. And this is our secret stash of rebar. We have about 60, 70 pieces left here. We need a couple hundred to finish this year. So I ordered another uh, another unit of it, 150 pieces. This rebar I paid $6.31 for back in May. It's So now it's gone up to, I think, $7.65, $1.34 more than uh, earlier this year. Um, but checking around, I've heard other prices uh, in the 11, 11 or $12 range. So this is, a, I feel, the, a pretty good buy that we've got coming. Should take us through this year, and we'll, we'll be able to finish strong this year. So just wanted to give you an update on that. Thanks. And metal roofing has become the precious commodity of the day. Lumber and plywood is down, but metal is up. This is black, and this is enough to do a, a really big house that we're going to be doing starting in a couple of weeks. I'm so glad we bought this ahead of time. It's gone up uh, close to 50% since we bought this back in June. Black, this is black. You can't even get black at this point. They're, they're not giving a delivery time that it's available. Um, so that's kind of a puzzle that we've got to figure out going forward through the through into the fall season just another part of trying to figure this whole uh, pricing and availability thing out so thanks again uh, another thing we had a have a subscriber from from Canada Quebec Canada John and you know who you are thank you for the gift uh, he had, uh, they're pretty ingenious up there, actually. They ha he had, uh, he was kind enough to send me some 2x4 seeds. So we're going to go back to the shop and look at that. I'm going to plant some 2x4s. <laughs> Let's go. So as I told you, uh, somebody from Canada, John, sent me a package in the mail that it was really interesting. Our, uh, our friends up there have a lot of, a lot of you subscribers from, from Canada. I appreciate you watching. Sent me a gift, and it apparently requires sawdust. So let's, uh, let's see what this is all about. Oh, we're going to start with... So John is pretty much a genius. 
thanks for sending, sent me a package in the mail. Uh, it says, so there's directions that say they require, uh, they're actually, they're two by four seeds. That's right. <laughs> so you have to use spruce sawdust, of course, to, for, for planting seeds. Two by four seeds. Pretty clever. Those guys, they think of everything up there. Let's make sure we got plenty in there. All right, two by four seeds, here we go. <laughs> this is for you, John. Ugh. Oh no, I dropped the seeds. Let's see how they go. So we're planting them Carefully, of course. We'll water those, and they'll be. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the uh, time frame is. Looks like they're already sprouted. Anyway, so one other thing, Chad had this brilliant idea. So whenever you get a northeastern Vermonter and a Quebecian together, Chad says use man glitter to fertilize it. Whoa! Baby, it worked. Thanks, John. Thanks, Chad. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, make a comment, and hit the bell. Tap the bell. Thank you.